How's it going, guys? And it's a go. Welcome to a better side. You're gonna say Genshin. No, we're not gonna watch Genshin. We're gonna. Wa I've been watching uh, the, the this uh, new top five uh, since 7 p.m. and it's uh, 10 p.m. right now. And uh, the top 20 scariest ghost videos of the year, uh, this year, or it's uh, the or last year because this is like 11 months ago. So yeah, and it's December. So uh, why don't we end uh, the, the this year with the uh, with the uh, horror and some shit, whatever. You know what? Well, let's just fucking watch. It's an hour video. Let's go. This is the real good shit, man. Turn so off the lights and go full, full screen, because it's screen. the top 20 scariest ghost videos of the year. Oh god, this might be a the bad Highway idea. Highway 5 Ghost Girl. This next video posted to Reddit by user Lil- Wait, wait, are you guys ready? I just played the fucking video because I don't know what else to say. You know, I, uh, how, how are you with the horrors? I'm pretty bad Old with Goth horrors. doll was recorded from a monitor, then be a screen tapped on a phone life, before it finally made its way to the internet. No. So it's a bit potato quality. Nevertheless, the video is chilling. It was pulled from the dash cam feed of two truck drivers after a very frightening incident. So, one night two truckers are driving on Highway 5 in Lynn, Alabama, when they get the scare of a lifetime. Oh shit, don't kill him, her. The panic-stricken truck drivers pull over and call 911. But when they check the highway and the surrounding area along with arriving police, they don't find anything. There's just no one there. After the truck drivers request the viewing of the footage recorded that night on Highway 5, they are shocked. Just like they thought, there is in fact a girl in a long dress walking okay. across the road, Looks like seemingly she's getting the hit by their truck. They later find out that there's a well-known ghost story associated with this road, Highway 5 in Lynn, Alabama. The story goes, Fucking Alabama, bro. Don't go to Alabama. That 10 no, years ago on a rainy night, a teenage girl on her way home from her high school prom lost her life on the road after being hit by an 18-wheeler truck. Over the years, many truck drivers claim that they have witnessed a girl wearing a prom dress on Highway 5. So could it be that these truck drivers captured the prom dress ghost of Highway 5? Fucking Alabama, Their reactions bro. certainly look convincing. But as always, you decide. You get to decide. We get to decide. I've, I've played Genshin the whole fucking day, alright? Tonight will be horror and shit. Now, the Haunted minutes. Hill House. Whatever. Doesn't matter. The Haunted Hill House in Mineral Wells, Texas is said to be one of the most haunted locations in the U.S. With an over 125 year dark and troubling- I just want to say this, that uh, if shit becomes too fucking real and I can't take it, I'm not gonna force myself, okay? You can't you can fucking go, and I'm, uh, I'm gonna go as well. If I can't finish this top 20, I'll never be a man. In past, that- But it's okay! Doesn't come as much of a surprise. The home was once a haven for illegal activity. It served as a gambling this? hall, Maybe. a bootlegging operation, and even a brothel. It also served as a makeshift hospital for over 50 years. Look at a baby. It is said that the Haunted Hill House is inhabited by the ghosts of at least nine people who lost their lives there. The Hill House can be rented out for ghost tours and investigations by interested fucking tourist spot. You can just go there. Groups and, and curiosity seekers. So one night in late September, a group of friends and family rented the Hill House just to- Thank God for YouTube, right? We don't need to go there and we're just gonna watch whatever fucking happens to other people. Let them feel the terror and we're just gonna watch and laugh. Have a little fun. Very nice. None of the group were quote unquote paranormal investigators. In fact, many of them were doubters who just wanted to prove that the so-called Haunted Hill House wasn't actually haunted at all. But... That's not exactly how things went down. The house is said to be haunted by one- Uh, it's so dark outside right now, to be honest. <laughs> the lights, uh, the lights are very- are off. It's fucking 10 p.m. So I'm the only one, like, awake right now. Everyone's sleeping. Just whatever, you know? I'm just saying that it's so fucking dark outside, man. It's creeping me out, despite the lights on. One particularly violent spirit that the house's owners refer to as Dr. Jaeger. Erin Jaeger! One of the visitors, Victoria, lays down on the bed in one of the rooms and jokingly starts taunting Dr. Jaeger. It did not go well. Erin 
as you can see she was yanked off the bed this was not a fall and then they ran out she got we're going to show fucking... you in regular screen Aaron Yeager. Something seems to violently yank Victoria right off the bed as her friends look on. Fucking girl is so fucking fat, bro. Like, goddamn it. And terror. Yeager. The house has a static black and white security camera in every room, and it catches the action as Victoria is pulled off the bed, and the group makes a run for it. One of the guys is so shook, he even drops his phone and just leaves it on the floor <laughs> behind him. Now, cut to almost oh, one hour later, shit. around 3 a.m., a guy named Drew wants to test this alleged paranormal activity for himself. So he enters the same bedroom and immediately begins taunting the ghost of, quote, Dr. Yeager. It he says Yeager. that the spirit is a coward and that if he really wants to attack someone, why doesn't he try attacking a man instead? Uh, the same room, Look at the guy in the white hat I'm right here, guys. Follow him. him. As soon, before I even finish my sentence, Oh. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna he pull just, it back. Uh, he just fucking... Did you he see got he got away. pushed? So, Drew got his wish. He is violently shoved by something. And then he almost knocks down his two friends while making a mad dash from the room. It should be <laughs> noted here that Drew has gone on record as saying that he will never Same, set foot bro. inside the... To my friends that likes horror and shit, if, if something like that happens to me, I'm leaving you. All right. I'm sorry, but I'm out. Goodbye. Haunted Hill House. I'm sorry, miss. If you're watching, goodbye. Ever again. But it gets even weirder. Oh, shit. We're After not Drew done. Is pushed and he and his friends run from the room, something seems to yank the door shut behind them. If yank? you watch closely, you can actually see the doorknob move as if it's being pulled. So Whoa. is the Haunted Hill House one of the most haunted places on Earth? Oh, that's fucking Would you cool, go into bro. that room and taunt the spirit I mean, of Dr. Yeager? Let me know down in the comments. Down in the comments. The unhappiest place What do you on think Earth. about that shit? Popular Japanese YouTube channel Fourth Wall claims that they have been sent video footage of a family visiting Tokyo Disneyland. Since there are very strict privacy laws in uh, Japan, the footage has Disney. been blurred to protect identities. Now, allegedly the family's daughter is too scared to ever return to the Disney park after this incident. This is the footage. Mickey. Did you see it? The anonymous video recorder is walking on the second floor of what appears to be the Disneyland Hotel lobby. They pan to the right and what appears to be the pale translucent figure of a little girl can be seen bro. right in front of I did not see it. I did not see the girl. Front of I was them. just looking for Mickey Mouse. Yes. I don't see I'm, I'm not looking for demons, bro. I'm looking for Mickey Mouse if I go it. there. They didn't oh, even shit. discover the figure until after their trip while they were looking through their footage. So is it a ghost caught on camera? Or is it just an elaborate hoax? It's fucking Mickey Mouse. If I'm there, I'd be looking for Mickey Mouse, not some fucking demon child or some shit. You know? I'm there for, like, Mickey Mouse. Why am I looking for demons? You Jesus. decide. You decide, go. The Screaming you Ghost. Decide. Paranormal investigator Ross Allison has been heading up a ghost hunting team in the Pacific Northwest called A Ghost for nearly 20 years. After one of their investigations, a female team member believes that she. <laughs> Look at that smile, bro. Good dudes. Like, ah, oh, we're so ready to get laid, bro. Investigations, a female team member believes that she was followed home by an unhappy spirit who attached itself to her. Afterwards, she says that every time she records her voice, unexplained horrific screams and growls appear on her recordings what if i'm as i'm recording right now you you guys are like hearing shit you know, and i'm not aware in this clip to prove her claim she records herself in full view of a camera in a room full of people which would make faking the recording nearly impossible hi it's me again obviously no one can understand why you have to scream, and neither can I. Why 
Why do you follow me everywhere? I know you need my help, but I can't understand you. Is that a ball? Please, can you just try to not scream? Where are they, bro? Can you try to tell me your name? Pablo. Or what you'd like for us to call you? I'd like to be called Raul, but my name is Pablo. God dang. I have friends. This is why it's not fucking. I play horror games and I think of jokes and sex. Exactly. But if I'm really into it, I get scared. They understand things in the spirit world. We all want to try to help. I don't want to help, bro. I don't want to fucking do anything. I know you came with me from Rolling Hills and I told you you would never have to go back there. But now I'm thinking you need to go someplace else. I'm gonna turn it off now. Okay, let's see what we've got. Just as she claims, some terrifying voice seems to appear near the end of the recording, even though nothing could be seen or heard by live witnesses or in the video. What, the, what are we gonna do after, like, re-record the ghost or some shit? We share it on the internet, and then we laugh at it. <laughs> <laughs> To be real though, uh, if you guys got like a fucking demon uh, like, uh, on camera, what are you gonna do with it? Through the looking glass. In this classic internet ghost video, a man in South Yorkshire, England We upload it on the internet so people can laugh at us while being a pussy and scared. Seems that his house is haunted by the ghost of a young boy. That is what's happening right now. Shit. One day he hears strange sounds coming from one of the rooms and begins filming. Automatic drawer. Enjoy yourself, Lord. Oh, but it's a girl. Enjoy yourself. Joy? He saying joy? <sighs> Come on. Pull another one out. Pull another one out. Pull another one, one way. I hope. Oh okay, shit. No. Is that a mattress? A drawer opens on its own, and the heavy mattress falls over. But it gets even stranger. So it's the wind. When the man is panning around the room, this. See it? The shape of something that looks like a small boy seems to be peering oh. back at him in the mirror. I don't like we wearing headphones, bro. It's like it's the the audio is making me. Are you guys wearing uh, headphones? Headset? You you should. You know, we're in this together. And when he pans the camera back, the shape in the mirror has vanished. This video is from like 2008 or something. So is this a ghost call on camera? Still 3GP or something. Or just an elaborate hoax? You decide. It's a hoax. The passenger. This next chilling CCTV Bruh. video was allegedly shared. That's why you don't fucking drive cars. Shared to the public by like an anonymous cars. taxi driver in Japan. He says that a little after 1 a.m. he saw a woman on the street raise her hand to hell his taxi. He pulls over and stops. But what happens next is truly bizarre. I will never be a taxi driver. What? 
The door closed. Taxi driver remotely opens the door in the back with a switch, expecting the woman to step inside the vehicle. But when he looks again, there's no one there. So the confused driver simply closes the door and drives away. But just a few minutes later, he drives through a tunnel on the road. Without him knowing, his drive recorder captures something absolutely terrifying. Is this fucking Japan, bro? I don't want to go to Japan anymore. Oh, the lightning, bro. That's impossible. The extremely disturbing figure of a woman can be seen appearing in the back seat of his car. Not once, but twice. She appears distorted with a swollen face, one creepy eye open, and one closed. The taxi driver claims... <sighs> Made me think of Juno, man that he had no idea what was happening so close behind him. He says that he felt a disturbing chill at the time, but he didn't see or hear anything unusual. The driver believes this to be the manifestation of a spirit of the victim of a traffic accident on this road, forever lost on the streets of Japan, trying to get a ride back home. Just give her a ride, bro. The St. Charles Hotel. Right? Water break, water break, Get stay hydrated gamers. All right, I'm back. Uh, I had to deal with uh, something. Anyway, let's continue with top 14 St. Charles Hotel. I'm gonna, by the way, I'm gonna finish like up to top 10 only for tonight. Because we're gonna continue on tomorrow. If you guys like this video, we're gonna leave a like, subscribe, comment down below. On the YouTube ghost channel, The Haunted Side, so far, investigator I'm not Patrick scared. and his cameraman Jason are investigating Maybe the supposedly the, very haunted you know, St. Charles Hotel in Carson City, Nevada. Whatever. The hotel has been in continuous operation for over 150 years. So obviously it's had its fair share of tragic events occurring inside its walls. Almost immediately, the haunted side guys begin to experience unexplained activity. What? And we're going back in. I don't even see anything in here that's metal. No, there's no debris. Yeah, Nothing it's not changed. Patrick and Jason head to the hotel's most haunted rooms to continue their investigation. So we're standing out front of room. This is what we're gonna be doing, man. If <laughs> you gotta go to haunted hotels, and then we're gonna start filming and shit. I'm gonna show it to the world and then show how scared we are. Go five. And we're gonna and people are gonna laugh at it. At us. We should go first. Three or four. Yeah, three or four. Yes. And again, this is the floor Someone where knocking? there's a lady um, from the 1800s that is oh, seen not, around here a lot. So let's go see if we can talk to her. And now, this is when things get truly bizarre. Do you have something you want to say? Come and talk to us. Or super creaky. Yeah. That was weird. Is that you? I felt like a little, like a little touch or like a little pressure. Now, at first, this clip might not seem that compelling, but right after Patrick is touched. Watch what their night vision camera catches. That was weird. Is that you? Did you see it? Now did this you? chilling- It's always fucking asking, did you see it? <laughs> ...capture of a pale apparition might be a bit hard to see on a darker phone <laughs> screen or a monitor. So I've enhanced the video just a bit. But note, nothing was added to the Haunted Side's original video. 
it has only been adjusted to highlight what was already there. Is that you? It's a guy touching him. Next, Patrick and Jason move to room 305, a room 305. which is also said to be a hot bed. Never go to a room 305. Bed of paranormal activity. They capture some very odd temperature fluctuations in the room. But the most chilling footage cold? of all cold, happens Dr. just after they walk out. Both Jason and myself had to leave this room. Little did we know we were about to capture something unbelievable. What? Did you see it? Did you see it? <laughs> Again, I'll enhance the video. Oh Take another God. look. Did you see it? It's a face. Oh. It's like a guy. Some creepy figure seems to just be standing idly in the corner with its head down. When they leave the room, it seems to raise its head and disappear into the bathroom. So did the haunted side catch a ghostly apparition in two separate rooms the at the St. Charles Hotel? So take a shit, you know? Let me know what you think. Like, I'll fucking leave already, bro. I want to take a shit. Down in the comments. Goes, he's like, ah, finally, I can take a shit. Below. You can watch the haunted side's complete un yeah, video sent in by TikTok user Liliana Castillo. In the video, her daughter Golly can be seen playing with her doll. I'm just gonna say this. Fuck kids that place dolls and fuck dolls. Everything is fine dogs. until she seems to hear something odd that catches her attention. And Juliana, how is this video to you? Good? Okay, thank you. Okay. Yeah, thank you. I hate fucking kids with dolls, man. Thank you so much, Kellyana. You Shut are up. a good sport. So, Kellyana, what? What happened? Did you see it? Watch closely right at the corner of the screen. Right when Golly appears to hear something to her left, the doll turns its head to look at her. What? Horrified, Golly runs to her mom to tell her what happened. The doll has since been thrown out in the trash. Oh, that's why dolls don't move, bruv. They got so, thrown in the trash. <laughs> wicked. Popular <laughs> Japanese ghost hunters, Gachan, uh, Yasuke, and Daichan. That's why dolls don't move anymore, man, because we, we throw them in the trash if they move. So they're like observing us naked while we have sex. From the YouTube channel Clip Store, travel to what is known to be an extremely haunted location in Hiroshima Prefecture, Japan. Hidden in the mountains here, there's a mysterious tall western-style ruin that sort of looks like a medieval castle. No one knows why this odd structure was built, or why it ended up being completely abandoned. Oh, billiard table. Locals and curious visitors tell strange stories about the ghost of a woman wearing a dark cape. They claim that the dark figure looks like a witch. The Clip Store team begin their investigation outside, completely in awe of the strange Sorry western style uh, yes. exterior. That's when cameraman Dai Chan notices something truly bizarre. Bizarre. Show me. I'll translate for you. When you go to Japan, there will be subtitles. <laughs> you talk to people. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little hard to see, but Daichan's camera barely captures what appears to be someone quickly moving away from the edge of the roof. Almost as if someone or something is watching them from above. The team splits up as they each investigate one of the three floors inside the abandoned structure. Investigator Yasuke finds an old TV on the second floor and sits down to listen and wait, just to see if he experiences anything remotely paranormal. What happens next is absolutely terrifying. What 
रखते हैं Yasuke claims that something pushed hard against his shoulder, knocking him backwards and nearly making him fall. He runs up to the staircase and yells to his team members. And to his horror, he sees something lurking over Daichan's shoulder up on the top floor. Yasuke screams to warn him, but whatever it is has just disappeared into thin air. Even the hair is there, bro. Could this be the spirit of the woman that locals claim to have been seen inside the abandoned building? Did the ghost hunters capture evidence of the paranormal? Holy Let me know shit. what you think. You can watch this entire video over on the Japanese YouTube channel, Clip Store. Clip Popular store, streamer everybody. Brian from the right, Twitch channel Daily Dasher night. travels the world and broadcasts his adventures live for thousands of people to watch on Twitch. In one of his many six to eight hour long live streams, he is celebrating his birthday in Ecuador. During his live broadcast, his viewers are shocked when they see someone who seems very out of place. Yeah, I don't know what that too. But it seems like, there's a, why is there a child here? He said that they closed at 10, and it seems like they're, that's what someone in the chat said, that the curfew is extended, but it's still 10. So even though we didn't get the exact words out of his mouth, there's still a curfew. It seems like these might add up. Is that a statue? Don't scare me like that. Oh my God, it's gone! Oh no! <laughs> Chat, I don't like supernatural stuff. Why do you guys Holy say it's a ghost girl? <laughs> it's gone! <laughs> what? What? Bro. I should have stayed home! Whoa, she's there! Whoa, whoa, she's on the roof, bro. <laughs> or is that a boat? At first, Brian casually points out that there's a child standing at the balcony window. Oddly, the little girl is standing perfectly still. In fact, she is so still that viewers chatting in his live stream think that it might be a statue. Some even jokingly suggest that it's a little ghost girl. So, Brian pans his camera around and looks over. To his horror, he discovers that the little girl has mysteriously Wait, disappeared. Maybe they're gonna know this, or maybe now, just like in the previous videos, I'm not necessarily saying that this is a paranormal. Wait, I, let's go back to the start. Bro. She is. I, I wanna... Brian. <laughs> oh, it's always. It's a, I thought it's the girl here. It's just a fucking uh, boat, I guess. Still down in the original game. I did no one see opening a door. <laughs> but as with the other video window, I leave it up to you to decide. All right, we're gonna have to end that episode there of ghost demons caught on 4 4K or maybe low res something like that. If you like this content, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of try not to scare, get scared, scary videos in the internet.